Hey guys, you know, I do these lives and you know, some, they don't say it beyond 24 hours. So sometimes I feel like I need to put something on here that can help you that you can hold on to, right? So <sighs> surrender in the spirit. We have to remember that we are first spirit, right? We're spirit first. So that's surrendering to our higher self before you surrender to an outside spirit. You have to make a decision that what you've been experiencing, what's going on in your life, you're, you're at a standstill and that you recognize that there's something more, right? So the responsibility then falls on you to find out what is the more. What am I here for? What should I be doing? How can I just live an authentic life and be truly myself and find my peace and be authentically me? And that does this, that comes into the, the soul work, the shadow work, right? I give you all of these um, ideas and different routes that you can take in order to find out different things about your life. And I keep getting the I don't know my ancestors, which boggles the mind because although you didn't know them, you know, there are plenty of grands and uncles and aunts and people that have passed before you can even really remember or even before you were alive that still have your bloodline. Your blood runs through their veins. Your, their blood runs through your veins. That's still your family. So what do we do? We find out who they are. We have to work backwards sometimes. You have to find family records. There are um, elders in your families and that have information that you guys have to get to and get the information to find out who these ancestors were. What did they do in life? Um, what kind of things were they into? What was their business? What were they spiritual practices? As much information as you can. How many children they had? How many siblings they had? Where they lived? There are always little clues as to what someone did, what they were into. Once you start digging and doing the research, we go with who is easiest for us to find. If it's only one or two people, then you start with that one or two people, right? And you do constant things to investigate, research, find out the information. As if you're investing yourself, spirit answers your call. If you're investing yourself, you're going to find information. Once you start opening up those channels of communication and opening up the um, avenue that says, listen, I'm putting out there that I'm searching for my people and I'm open to receive, spirit will always make a way for you to find them. They want to be found. They don't want the hide. You know, we have a lot of issues with these families that hide so much information that we never really know what's going on. And until you start asking the questions the right way and getting the ancestors on your side, the ones that you do know, they'll have that person give you some information. So it's really up to you and how you set in the stage in order to receive this information, the, how you're setting yourself up to be in communication with spirit, trusting yourself, trusting your instincts, testing yourself, testing your instincts. If something is a fleeting thought that tells you to do something or you, you know, spirit comes to us in many a different ways and it often starts within our minds, right? It's in the head. It's, it's um, communication, psychic communication. That's what we, you know, our people, some of, a lot of us can do, right? And so spirit works that way because before we had these shells, we are spirit first, right? So we are just in this shell. We have the ability to do so many things that we don't even understand because we've been taught that it's evil, right? And so it forced us to um, bury it deep, but it's still there. So we just have to give it opportunity to wake up. How do we give it opportunity to wake up? It's a muscle. You have to practice it. You have to exercise it. You have to put on, uh, put yourself in the position to be able to receive that by cleansing ourselves, uh, cleansing our homes, putting ourselves in a peaceful mode, whether it's meditation, whether it's taking long baths, whether it's um, lighting our candle with the water and sitting and writing, reading something in the vein of nature. Um, there are plenty of ways. We just have to figure and find them out. We have to learn to sit and be quiet. Spirit talks all the time. 
we have to put ourselves in a position where we can hear it. And if we're always running our mouths, if we're always in the middle of some nonsense, if we are uh, absorbing everybody else's lives and not really worrying enough about our own, if we're always watching nonsense on television or doing all types of things and finding plenty, a multitude of excuses as to why you can't spend half an hour, 45 minutes doing something that feeds spirit. It's energy. We have to learn to work with the energies that are within us and around us. If we are made of energy and everything is energy, then we have the ability to manipulate it and manipulate it to work with it. Meaning, I know that when we do rituals and things with the moon, when the moon is growing, we do things to build up to the new moon to bring us abundance. When the moon is leaving, we do cleansing practices so that when the moon leaves, it takes away all of the things that we want to shed or get away um, from us. So it's about knowing how energy is working, knowing how the universe is working, knowing what days are you feeling better? What days are you feeling lighter? Which days do you have more energy? Those are the days that you need to strive for to do the things that normally would not be able, you wouldn't be able to do because you're too tired. You have to discipline yourselves in order to reap the benefits of what it is that you say that you want, which is a spiritual awakening. Once you start kicking those doors open, it's up. That's it. You got to get in line. You got to get in on, on the job. You ask for it, right? You can't run but for so long. You can't hide but for so long. And spirit comes to help. It's never a time when spirit is coming to harm. When I'm talking about your bloodline and your spiritual court, they're not coming to hurt and or harm. That's other stuff, right? Other things that we allow in. I was talking to someone who was beginning um, their spiritual journey and they are terrified of the gifts that they have. And spirit is understanding that they're terrified. So spirit is asking for assistance with dealing with this person. Give a, let her know that it's okay. Okay. Those of us who can, we reach out and try to help these people because we don't want you to be scared and neither does spirit. We need you to do things safely. So there's some rules and there's some things that you should know, right? You are in charge. Spirit is not in charge. You cannot allow a romper room, freestyle, all around playground for spirit at all times. That's not how that works. Spirit is, has, they need a job to do, right? Spirit don't. When they, I heard someone say, oh, spirit got to eat. Spirit don't eat. Like with your spirit, you're doing work and spirit is communicating through you. There is no stop and giving time for spirit to eat. Spirit will not pick up a sandwich in front of your face and eat no sandwich. That's not how that works, right? So you should not be drinking alcohol, right? Becoming inebriated, becoming not in full control of your senses and then allowing spirit to come in and run you. Absolutely not. That's dangerous. That gives spirit a playground. That allows them to run rampant. That allows them to run you. That is not how that works. You should not be drinking liquor and getting bent and allowing spirit to come in and talk about, oh, I'm doing readings. No, that's dangerous. Stop doing that. Some people, okay, with different energies, um, the, the energies like to sip. So we'll sip. But that person is never drunk. That person never gets drunk because it's spirit that is consuming that. Because you're working with them and it's a job that you're doing at that point, right? So if you are dealing with or seeing or even yourself is doing something and you're drinking while working with spirit. And I'm talking sipping. And it's not even what you like to drink. It's what they like to drink, which will nine times out of ten not be the same shit that you like to sip on, okay? Right? So... You got to be careful when you do this. You can get jumped by spirit. Dangerous game. How about you doing that when you're by yourself, right? Because spirit now knows that if you're home and you're drinking, oh, normally she's out playing when she's drinking and she'll let me in. So now your defenses are low. So any spirit can come and jump you at that moment. What if you're by yourself? How you get that spirit off of you? You're stuck. You're in a dangerous game right? We don't set ourselves up for failure. We put boundaries and rules on everything, especially with spirit, right? They are not allowed to run free and run rampant and do what they want with my suit. This is mine. When I need you, you know, I need you. Talk to me. 
if I'm in a situation where there's a miso or a cleansing or something that's going on that spirit needs to come down and cleanse or give a message, that is when they do it. They are not here to party. They are not here to dance around my house. They are not here to come in and um, there's not, there's not spirit is not playtime. So you can have your playtime, but that's not spirit time. So you don't, when you're playing, don't have nothing to do with spirit in that moment. That's not the time. Those things must be separate. Safety. It's very dangerous. And it's a dangerous game that people play doing this because they think it's cool and they think that it's okay because they don't know what they're doing. Stop it. I tell you things because I want you to be safe. I tell you things because I want you to nurture your gifts and use them properly and have the full benefit of them without all of the bullshit attached to it, right? And we don't understand and we call in a lot of this bullshit ourselves, right? Be clear on what you're doing right? Be clear on who you're dealing with, right? Be clear that there's always spirit and energies around you that are helping you do these miraculous things, whether you're cleaning what people, whether you're giving messages, it's all spirit. It's not you, right? They work through you. You are the instrument, the microphone, the mouthpiece, right? Anything that you do in a healing nature, that spirit working with you, that is not you yourself. Proper respect due to the proper energies that are helping us do things, right? And then it's clarity on it so that we know what we're doing, so that we have the full brunt of its power and its force working along with us to accomplish what it is that we're gearing to do. Y'all going through these hard times because y'all are forgetting home base. Y'all are forgetting back to the basics. Stop with the trying to jump forward when you're not consistent with your basics. You have to be consistent with your basics and spirit will test you. You can say all you want is all you want. Nobody gives a shit about you saying all you want is. They're watching what you do. They're watching how you respond to things. They're watching your growth. They're watching your progression. They're watching to see if you are making changes within your every day as far as your attitude, as far as your focus, as far as what is now important to you because things that, you know, you should be growing, you should be elevating. The things that bothered you then shouldn't bother you now if you're really growing. The things that would have attracted you then wouldn't attract you now if you're truly growing. Your patience level for a lot of bullshit is lessened if you're truly growing because you're vibrating differently and you don't want that vibration over here. Not only do you not want it over here, it doesn't feel good. So we do away with those types of things automatically because it don't feel right. This world has us thinking that certain things are okay, and it's not. It's not. A lot of things that are, I, that are done and that, that I've seen is not okay. And we have to get our characters in order to know when something's not right. Pay attention to your instincts. Pay attention to the little voice that's in your head that says, mm, maybe I shouldn't. If there's a question, stop. Sit down. Be quiet. Shut everybody else out and figure out what is it that I'm experiencing right now. Put a pause on some shit. Sit down. You guys have a million different ideas and no focus on how to get to, like, I can see the trees, the forest beyond the trees. You guys will see the trees and get stopped and not think that there's nothing beyond that when there's a whole beautiful euphoric land behind it, right? But all you see is trees and forests and you can't see what's beyond that. It's time to start figuring out what's beyond that. Meaning you're using your mind's eye, right? You're figuring out a way to maneuver, how to get to where you need to be. Stop feeling so stuck. Figure it out. You guys are not thinking ahead. You guys are thinking just in the now. You guys have to get towards the future. What's tomorrow? What am I going to do the next day? I don't care if you have to get a um, use your calendar app in your phone and set things for yourself, standards, goals, and check them off. Don't do too many at one time. Don't do too much at one time. I'll take one a day. One a day. Two a week. Build it up. Do something. 
as long as you are getting the ball rolling, the universe and your energies and your guides are going to give that extra push behind you because you are starting the ignition to your power every day. It's all you. Do you want more? Do you? How do you get more? Make a plan. Ancestors first. Figuring out spirit. How do I work with spirit? Oh, I can't find my ancestors. Research death certificates, birth certificates, obituaries, old people in your family. They all got old photo albums. Somebody has paperwork somewhere. Once you start, even if it's with a simple white candle, a simple glass of water, and a piece of paper with your ancestors names written on it i put a prayer up this morning that you guys can use that to start talking to your ancestors and giving them black coffee on a daily basis right once you start that it's not going to stop as long as you continuously give them that energy find your starting place and do it Stop watching these videos. Stop not taking the notes. Stop not trying it. Do it. When you get stuck, do more. It, they don't slow up. You do. Their consistency, consistency doesn't stop. Yours does. They will watch to see if you're doing it just for now or whether you're going to be continuous. Those that are continuous will receive the keys. Those who want to stop, do freeze tag with them, y'all not getting but that. They get sick of y'all too. And spirit will push all the way away from you and be like, I'm not being bothered. And now you got to fight and struggle to try to get it back. Why? Your choice. Your move. This is a game of chess. This is not checkers. I look at everything as the art of war. I need a plan for everything. Make your plans. Stick with them. That's how you win. You got a team that you were born with. A team of spirits that said they're going to help you. And nobody's calling on nobody. It's just you. It's not just you. It's not. You know it. You've seen spirit. You've heard spirit. Everybody's been in a position at some way, shape, or form in their life that they have been privy to something that they be like, it's just not explainable. Get it together. Figure it out. Ask the questions. Do the research. Read the books. Use your Google. Use your computers. Use the el Get to the elders, right? But ultimately... Wake up your third eye, decalcify your pineal gland, eat right, drink the right things, cleanse ourselves, cleanse our homes, put yourself in the position to live your best lives now because tomorrow is not promised and time is not refundable. I want you to win. Do you want to win? Show me, please. I'm watching. And so is your spirit guides and your ancestors.